to start talking about helmets and I'll see if I can slip a little bit in about circlets as well. The thing to realize about helmets is helmets actually cause the character's hair to be removed and it replaces the hair with uh, one or two different type hair meshes that just shows like the bottom of the hair but there's really nothing on top of the head so you, your character would be like bald if uh, you you know created an invisible mesh and used that hair BS dismember and put it in game. Uh, as a helmet you wouldn't see any hair on your head so it's always a good idea to go into game before you make a helmet and find a helmet that uses a hair style that will work with your uh, with your head so you get in game you know equip like the hide helmet and see okay what hair is showing on that helmet and kind of look at it and say will this work for my helmet so you're really just gonna have to play around with which helmet to use uh, because they all have different BS dismember skin modifiers and they also in the creation kit are going to have a different assignment to the head slot uh, based on that helmet so because like I said one's going to show different hair because they actually replace the uh, the hair uh, they are a hair technically um, so they remove the hair from the head and they become the new hair for the head uh, so you need to get in and see which uh, which part of the hair it's going to remove from your model uh, so you know which one to use. But anyways, that being said, you know, um, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I need something to put the head on, so uh, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to import a head. If you recall, we went to Skyrim Mesh, Meshes, Actors, uh, Character, Character Assets, and then you find your female head or male head if you're making a man. Oh, where is it? There it is. Female head. Okay, I import the skeleton. Definitely want that. Now remember, the head is just something to uh, wrap your helmet around. I mean, you just basically you're going to import this and you're going to create your helmet, fit it to the head. Make sure you're out a little bit though. Don't get it skin tight. You want to be out just about. I don't know if you look at this little white line here uh, that I got in front. Uh, a good gauge like right there you want to have at least that distance because the head changes shape and it's one size fits all anything that goes on the head is one size fits all it's just like masks so you gotta make sure that you're out a little bit and also the hair uh, that little bit of hair like it'll be bald on top and then there'll be a little bit of hair on the sides uh, when it gets in game and then you'll have your helmet will be covering the top of the head to make the illusion uh, that the hair is still there while your helmet's on that's what's gonna happen so keep that in mind keep a little bit of distance and if you know you get it in game and you see your hair sticking through like the little bit at the bottom sticking through uh, just come back in here move the helmet out a little bit you know reshape it and then re-export it and try again uh, so now you can see um, I got the head in here I'd shape something around to it now to save time I'm just gonna import a helmet um, and I'm gonna pretend like I made it okay so see how cool I am <laughs> I'm making Bethesda's meshes it's magic all right, so I'm going to go to meshes, I'm going to go to armor, I'm going to import the hide helmet. So I'm going to go to hide female, and I'll find the uh, helmet light for the female and import that. I don't need a skeleton, and there we go. Now here's the hide helmet. All right, so uh, I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to convert it to an uh, editable uh, mesh. Now. I need to skin wrap this so usually I hate skin wrapping directly to a head because a lot of times you have problems so I'm gonna to wanna to import something to skin wrap this to and of course like I said before with the masks if you want something easy to skin wrap to just go get a circlet you just go to armor circlets and grab one of these female circlets and just wrap to the circlet circlets are really good because they're only set to the head bone node so you never have problems if you skin wrap to a circlet um, unless your helmet's really big and then you might have to do some custom weighting which we'll get into we're definitely getting into uh, custom weighting for people that want to make skirts and such so that's upcoming alright so now I need to wrap this so I'd throw my uh, here I'll customize it a little bit so it'll be unique right, so I'll take some spikes here and I'll drag these out so I selected those vertices and I'm just gonna drag these out now there's a little punk rocker helmet okay so now it's custom. So now I need something to skin wrap it to. So I'm going to deselect my vertices and I'm going to skin wrap it to that circlet. So I'll throw a smooth on it. And hit it with a two and then I'll throw a skin wrap on it. Skin wrap. And uh, face deformation. Now I just wanted to point this out now that you guys are a little more advanced. Most gaming on the fall off, 
they usually set it to point zero zero one if you just leave it at one you're never really going to notice anything in Skyrim with the difference of how it does the initial skin ramp so just you can leave it at one or you can set it at point zero zero one which is usually the industry standard for face deformation in game engines when you skin ramp just throw that out there I always leave mine at one I just wanted to throw that out there for people who are wondering about that uh, yeah you can set that to point zero zero one um, uh, it doesn't really make a difference though. Anyways, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add the circlet to my skin wrap. Notice everything went black. If it doesn't go black, sometimes it does, sometimes it don't. Just wait for this to be done and then hit convert to skin. Now I have that, I can delete this. Now I need to know what do I got to wrap this BS dismember to? Well, I don't want to wrap, I don't want to copy the one from the circlet unless I was making a circlet, then I'd want to use this. I want to actually use something for this helmet. Now, since I already took this helmet from the hide, I already know that I need the hide hair mesh uh, that would go with this BS dismember. So I want to get that hide hair mesh. Well, in order to do that, I would just import the hide helmet again. Now let's say you wanted the hair pattern, you know, the amount of hair showing from a different helmet that you saw in game. You would import that and use its BS Dismember Skin Modifier. All right, it's very important. Now whenever we get into the creation kit, we start making our own uh, custom uh, armor, make it standalone. Uh, when I do my helmet, I'll actually use the hide helmet. Uh, in there I'll show you what I'm talking about later and you would use yours uh, and I'll just keep that in the back of your head for when we do the video about making it standalone uh, so anyways uh, I got my female helmet light and that is uh, the one that I imported the first time it's gonna give me that because there's two of them now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna copy the BS dismember from this now you'll notice uh, I'm using the for this video I'm using 373 NIF scope version if you're using 372 you're not gonna see anything in this BS dismember alright uh, if that's the case don't worry about it because really you don't need to set this you just need to copy it so just import the one you want copy it you know and that'll contain the hair mesh that you want with this helmet you know, or with your helmet that you decided to import and use its BS dismember so you can get the hair mesh from that one. I hope everybody understands that. It's pretty straightforward. You want that type of hair to be on your uh, uh, mesh, import that head and use its BS dismember. Uh, so anyways, uh, I copied it, paste it, now I have to select the face, make sure everything on my mesh is selected, then deselect the face, and now I'm ready to export. But first you, of course, want to get rid of the head so delete it and you're good to export and I can go ahead and test this out in game alright now this is also very important because this helmet is going to be exported as a hide helmet it has a hide BS dismember skin modifier that will have the hair from the hide helmet if I were to copy this into my Daedric folder like save this over the Daedric helmet and try to test it out in game there's a good chance it wouldn't work uh, the reason being is the games engine is set up to use this helmet mesh in a certain way because of the BS dismember skin modifier. So I need to actually test this using the helmet that I copied over the BS dismember from to get the accurate hair showing and actually get the helmet to show in game. So if I were to export this, it's a hide helmet, I need to get the hide mesh. So I would go in, uh, remember we also had that female shortcut for our hide, so we already have this here. and uh, We just need to get the helmet inside here or, you know, you're just going to have to be smart about it and whatever helmet you're using you're going to have to create the Skyrim data path for it in your game engine you know by using your Skyrim meshes so like for instance if I was using the actual Daedric helmet I would go in here to my game engine you know I would double click my data I would uh, go you know meshes I'd create an armor folder, I'd create a Daedric folder, and then I'd put the helmet in here to save over it. And this is where I'd test out. So when I went in game, I would test it out by equipping a Daedric helmet because I would save it into here in the game engine. And same thing where if you were to make anything, like you were to make a, um, that you were using the Blades hairstyle for its helmet, you would go into the Blades, you would copy, you know, you'd have to create the path, data meshes, armor, blades, and then you'd have to. Uh, copied the helmet into here so you could save over it after you stole its BS dismember skin modifier. So just keep that in mind, that's how you do that. So anyways, I want to test the helmet. So here's my Skyrim data path inside my game engine for the hide female. I need to go to meshes, um, armor, I go to hide, and female, and then I'd grab that helmet light, hit control C, 
control V. Now when I go to test this helmet in game I need to, you know, I'm going to save over this, you know, I'm going to export from 3DS over this file and whenever I want to test this out in game I'm going to have to equip a hide helmet. So there's really no easy way about making helmets. You just have to create the path to the hairstyle that you want and test it out in game that way. That's just how it works. Anyways, I'll see you here in a second uh, in game and uh, we'll see how this worked out. Alright, so here we are in game. As you can see, here's the helmet that I crafted and uh, exported. I made sure I fixed all my textures. I went to my armor box and I found my hide armor. Um, hopefully, I had to do it in here because the uh, texture was really hard to see. I don't know uh, if it's perhaps because the hide armor doesn't have any hair. There's no hair showing on this one. I've created helmets before that did have hairs. But I see here's my punk rocker helmet with the huge spikes. This was just done as an example. Whatever hairstyle you're going to want, like it'll be a little bit of hair underneath the head. You'll have to equip different helmets. Try them out until you can find the uh, helmet that you're looking for. So, you know, if I were to type uh, TFC then uh, S-U-C-S-M. This is good code right here to move your camera slowly. Uh, S-U-C-S-M space 2 is a good speed for cameras. I can go in and I can get a close-up on my helmet. Now, hide helmets don't really have any hair, it looks like. Um, some of them, some helmets do, some helmets don't have hair underneath them. Apparently the hide helmet doesn't. Unless I'm, I might have Apache Sky Hair, I think, installed, which might be removing any hair from underneath that helmet. Um, but again, you'll have to play around and look at which helmet you want to replace, create a path in the file engine, uh, you know, in your data meshes armor folder, uh, create a path to that helmet, copy that helmet name over, this is for testing, then uh, use the BS dismember from that helmet and export to that helmet name. Then he, when you get in game, after you fix your textures, you set up, uh, you know, you equip that helmet uh, in game, whichever one you decided to use the hair from and the BS dismember from, uh, that's the one you'll want to equip and uh, to do your testing. When we get in the, um, when we get into creating the standalone armor, uh, which will be the next video, uh, you'll learn about which uh, assignment slots to assign armor to based on the BS dismember skin modifiers that you used. Um, as you see, this is not the armor we've been creating in the tutorial. Real quick uh, advertisement here. This is uh, the new lingerie mod, Night of Sea Secrets, that I just released. It is a 10-slot, fully interchangeable uh, lingerie mod, like if I were just go in my inventory. Um, I can show you guys how to do this, too, which I probably will. I can create, create you know, equip a left arm, equip a left leg. I mean, everything is interchangeable in this mod, and I'll show you guys how this, uh, how this worked. You know, so I got all these different ones. We're also going to be talking about, uh, you know, skinning these skirts. As you can see, this skirt here, it moves perfectly. Like if I, you know, stand up and I were to run around, you'll notice that the skirt actually has proper weights to it, so it doesn't have those jagged lines underneath it. That's actually the undergarment. You can't really see it here. I had to do this here because the helmet was way too white to see in that studio one. Uh, for this. But anyways, you guys get the idea. I'll see you in the next video and we'll begin talking about how to get this armor crafted standalone in game. Um, so you guys can uh, start releasing your own mods to the Nexus. Then we're going to get into the more advanced tutorials covering, uh, you know, a lot more advanced stuff like proper UV mapping, proper texturing, uh, the works. So I'll see you guys, uh, see you guys in the next video.